Okay, welcome back. Um, my name is Keith, if you don't already know that, or Ufgood, if you see me online. And I'm making an adventure game in Blender. And right now I'm just trying to get like some, I'm trying to make some sort of little basic, basic, basic demo. Um, because maybe, maybe I'll figure out how to uh, make a cube move across the floor because um, even though I'm doing a 2D adventure game uh, it'll be in 3D space so I kind of need to get familiar with the 3D aspect of it and I'm of course using Armory as the game engine because Blender game engine is is gone from 2.8 from Blender 2.8 and so let's go ahead and I want to move Let's move this up. Just a little bit above ground here. Like this. Actually a little quite a bit above ground. Do it like that. Okay. And let's add a plane. Okay, let's add a plane. So mesh plane there uh, we need to scale that and let's see how uh, I'm trying to remember how to how could I scale these equally Let me see something here. There we go. That's actually what I wanted anyways. So let's scale this. Okay, let's make it big like that. Alright. And there's your plane. And let's do a looky. Okay, that's alright. Now, let's save this and let's look at, I gotta remember where it's at now. Do do. I want the, I guess, output. Uh, world. Do do. I don't remember which is which here. That's render, that's not what I want. There we go. And I want to make this 1280 by 720. How does that look? Okay. And That's actually not what I want to do here. Let's see here. Particles. There we Object data modifiers. I don't remember. Oh, armory, of course. That's what I want to do. Viewport or scene. Let's do viewport for right now. And I guess let's just let's play it. Let's see what it looks like. It's presuming I did everything correctly. There we go. Yeah. So we can actually that's quite all right and I can move in there and I can oh okay so next thing I actually want to do is I want to see about adding some sort of physics something basic Let's see. 
Where was that? That one? Um, where's your body? Active. I'm going to say passive, I'm not sure. Um, and we want settings. Shape. Interesting. So how would you put a... That's very interesting. Surface response, sensitivity. So how do you add a, what kind of shape do you add to a plane? I don't know how you do that. Maybe a rigid body is not what I want. Dynamic plate, cough, force field, soft body, fluid, smoke. Don't know. Let's, whoop. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's uh, select my cube. Is that a rigid body to that one? Make that active. Hmm. Okay, so let's go back to the plane. Passive, directly controlled by the animation system. That doesn't really tell me anything. So if I said active, and I turn dynamic off, let's see what happens. Actually, let's just see what happens, right? Okay, so let's save it. What am I doing? I'm almost at eight minutes. All right, let's just uh, let's just run this and just just to see what happens. Maybe everything falls off. Maybe nothing happens. Hmm. Not too bad, actually. Except, interestingly enough. really pretty interesting okay I wonder how come it doesn't go all the way down does it matter what what I do for this what if I said let's see what if I said box let's see what that would do So, Why am I 
upside down. All right, let's try this again. Um, all, all I'm trying to do is to here. Let's let's back this up like that. And then we go down. Because evidently it's still kind of floating in it. So why is it floating? All right. So I guess um, let's uh, look at something. Let's um, instead of the point of the camera, let's say. Um, armory three D physics plane. Let's see what we got here. That's really not really telling me anything, though. I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Let's go to the playground docks, right? The rigid body panel set object mass type active, passive. Hmm. Yeah, that, that kind of doesn't tell me much. Tanks. Oh, we attached another logic tree. Hmm. What's, uh... Surface response, sensitivity, collections, dynamics. Doesn't really tell me though. All it says is collision shape. So how do I know? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure that out later. And... I will see you later in another video, I hope.